I don't know if you saw the other video that I did where Jane Davenport sent us one of the new Jelly Arts Jane Davenport seashell shaped little mini jelly plates. If you haven't watched that one yet, I will leave a link for it in the description below. But she also kindly offered to send a few of her other products for us to try out. So this is my little stash. There was also a really cute little thing of washi tape in there. And I thought I would just do another quick little video just showing you trying these ones out. So I'm super excited to get them, especially the watercolours, which look really cute. Oh, upside down. And... These are called Mermaid Markers. They're brush pens and they are in my favourite colours, kind of pinks and teals and purples. And then some acrylic paints in the same colours. So I wanted to just quickly try them out and um, we'll do a little paint along video and you can see how they work. So the watercolours come in this super cute little metal tin very similar to the Prima marketing. There is a little swatch card there for the colours and they are all wrapped up individually. There isn't any pigment information or information on light fastness. I'll talk more about the paints when I'm using them and swatching them out. For the meantime, pens that I'm opening up, they are really beautiful colours. There's a little instruction booklet that explains how to set them up. So what you have to do is you have to shake them really well for th about 30 seconds and remove the yellow ring that is at the bottom of the cap there and then put the lid back on and that kind of starts them off. You'll hear a click when you put the lid back on and then they're ready to go and then you squeeze them a little to get the ink to come out. I did find that sometimes I squeezed a little bit too much and it was hard to regulate that flow but the colours are really vibrant you can activate them with water so that they become a bit like water pens I really really love the colours and I can see me wanting to use these quite a lot my only disappointment is that they are not light fast so I wouldn't feel comfortable about using them for a picture that I'm wanting to sell but you could certainly use these in your journal or you could use them if you were creating a picture that you were then going to be making into prints. So with the watercolours, once I took off the covers, I thought I would give them a quick swatch, swatch out just to see what the colours were like. And this set comes with three primaries. This is the bright palette. I think that Jane does have other palettes, three primaries, and then there are nine other bright colours. So the colours are gorgeous in this. There's like two yellows and a couple of different reds and pinks and some different blues and greens. So it's a good selection of bright colours. Obviously these are not, I don't think they're professional watercolours. Like I said, there's no pigment information and also, I don't know how light fast they are, but Jane Davenport's products, I think, are primarily aimed at the um, kind of journaling market. And so for that purpose, I think they're perfectly okay. The acrylic paints are super creamy. I really like these, actually. I wish I had them in some more colours now because they've got a really nice consistency. And I'm not just saying that because I got them sent for free. But they blend really well. I find that with heavy bodies, they're too they're too heavy body, and I find it hard to get a smoothness with them. But with the craft paints, they are too watery, and it's hard to get a nice application. And these, I think, are kind of almost somewhere in between. So they're quite liquidy, and they flow nicely, but they're opaque enough that you can make a nice opaque painting. I'm also going to add that in with this set, I got the paintbrush, which is quite a nice little paintbrush, nice flat brush for painting with. And also that little seashell shaped stencil, which I'm not using in this project, but I'll use certainly for other things. I thought that I would just try out a little watercolour painting. I'm using my Arches sketchbook. This is 300 GSM or 140 pound arches in the hot press 
and the paint brushes that I'm mostly using here is I've got a Jackson's round brush and a Jackson's quill brush. They're my two favourite kind of medium sized brushes that I use. I did worry about mixing skin tones from this palette because normally I use a yellow ochre of some sort or an, even a Naples yellow to mix my skin tone but I managed to mix a kind of a fairly kind of pinky skin tone which because I wasn't going for a super realistic look it didn't really matter too much and the paints themselves are performing pretty nicely. They're obviously not on a par with my Daniel Smith watercolours but the I think the price point I'm not sure exactly how much these are because um, Jane was kind enough to send them to me for free so I will check out the prices and I will put links to her website in the description below so that you can check out these products but obviously these are cheaper price point than paints such as Daniel Smith but I find that the colours are really nice and pigmented they were especially nice when it came to doing these wet on wet techniques for the hair when I was dropping in all the different colours they kind of blended in really nicely to each other all of those turquoises and greens and yellows and pinks um, I really liked how they looked on the page the colours were nice and vibrant and I feel like you can't really go wrong with these super cute little tins they're really handy for if you want to travel somewhere and take your journal and um, a really small watercolour tin and just use it for journaling or sketching while you're away they, there's something very aesthetically pleasing about this small tin metal tin they feel quite sturdy and just love the way they look and the color of them on the outside they're just super cute really and like i said before i've got a couple of these by the prima marketing i've got the complexions one and i've got the pastel one so the three of these together make up a really nice little overall set for me so I could use the complexions one for skin tones and then use this one for painting the other parts of a painting for example and I'm not having to cart around a lot of paints if I want to sit and paint in my bed or outside or so on. If you notice when I'm painting with watercolours this way I leave each section to dry and I move around the canvas around the paper and leave each section to dry so that those even though I'm doing wet on wet techniques the colours don't bleed into each section so I can create those different sections so it's still quite a clean painting process. I forgot to mention that the tin has space in the middle so that if you had other paints in other pans um, the half pan size you could fit another six down the middle there which would maximize your space even more and you will have two sections for mixing colors one that both of them fold out so one is the lid and another one folds out so it's a really cute little compact paint palette that's super handy for popping into your travel bag or handbag if you were going on the plane or away or something like that. So I decided to use the acrylics for the sky in the background much in the same way that I might use gouache at this point in my pictures and I really love these acrylics. I am going to have to get some more of them. I love the way that those two colours blended into each other. It was a really easy process for me and I tend to struggle a bit with acrylics. They are not my favourite art supply in terms of I quite like a nice smooth blended look and it's quite hard to achieve that. It's harder to achieve that with acrylics than it is with say watercolours or gouache or oils. So I really loved how these acrylics worked out and I think that they didn't go on like super shiny like a lot of acrylics. They didn't have that plasticky look to them when they dried so they were in a way a little bit more similar to the gouache that I use. Obviously they 
the properties of them were not the same as the gouache but the way that they looked on my paper was quite similar to the way that the gouache looks when I use gouache so I was really pleased with these acrylics and I would definitely be looking to maybe get some more of those in the future. I just thought I would just chuck a bit of the pens in just to use all three of these supplies in the one picture because that is what the video was about although I didn't really think it through and I could have probably made a slightly better job of using the pens than I did because it kind of made the top of her head look a little bit funny but that being said I really love these pens as well um, I really like the way that you can blend them out with water and they've got such high pigment to them. I would definitely use them in my art journal or for pictures that I'm going to scan and create products out of because, like I said before, because of the light fastness issue, I probably wouldn't use these in pictures that I was going to be selling to people for putting on their walls. Um, I don't know how quickly they would fade. highlights in my paintings I use white gouache um, this is by Windsor and Newton and I'm just using it here around the highlights in the face and I also use it for the stars in the sky and, and the moon and I wasn't sure how they, it would go against the acrylic because normally at this point I would use this over either watercolour or other colours of gouache to make my moons and stars but it actually worked pretty well over the acrylic as well. Um, I like the way that the gouache because it's not completely opaque almost gives me a moon like moon where I can see shadows in it like the real moon if you're looking at the real moon and that is really the effect that I am trying to achieve when I'm using my gouache for that moon. So final thoughts I'm just going to say that um, I want to say thank you very much to Jane for being really generous and sending me these products. I was, it was almost like Christmas when the postman came and delivered them to me. I was super excited to get them. I can never have enough watercolours and I was really excited to get to try them out and I've really enjoyed using these and I'll be using them again in future projects. So if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button to get notifications on when I have um, future videos coming out and I shall see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>